Eric, how long did it take us to find this guy? Um, I think it took us way too long. <laughs> Do you want it in eons or years? <laughs> <laughs> I legit was running. We were talking, and I was was running all over this place trying to find him. Mm -hmm. I couldn't remember where his um, uh, where his uh, uh, what what, what even is whatever. this place? Headquarters? I don't know. I don't know. Quarters are. <laughs> So, like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Link, how goes your search for Zelda? Have you found her yet? Yep. What? Levias? Ah, so you've been talking to the headmaster, I take it. You know, for something that everybody's supposed to know about, why, why like, you just assume that I talk to the headmaster? <laughs> whatever. Uh, if I'm correct, Levias is one inside the underhead. Uh, but that's not the Levias that we all know. That's... a monster. Oh no. It certainly looks like Levias, but last time I approached him, he came rushing at me. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Are you okay haven't there? I much sleep, I guess. <laughs> and his eyes, they were full of malice. It has me so, you know, so scared. <laughs> mm -hmm. People change, or old, wise and creatures change, rather. Uh, perhaps it's more that he is possessed by something. That's how it felt to me. What? You want to talk to Levias? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, totally. Sorry. <laughs> That's <laughs> never possible. I don't think Levias is capable of listening. Not in his current state, no. And even if you were to get close enough to talk to him, it will likely end with you getting brushed aside and sent flying to your death in a sea of clouds. What? You're still planning on going? I see. It's because you need to find Zelda. Yep. I understand. I get the feeling nothing I could say would talk you out of it. Of course, I could just not say anything, and then you won't be able to go do so. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. Bye. <laughs> uh, hey, I have an idea. Come with me. Okay. Oh, right. Now, now I remember. Mm-hmm. Hey! The vice is inside the Thunderhead. He's been acting so strangely, like something has possessed him. If we can somehow free him from whatever it is that has a hold over him, then there's a chance he will return to his senses. Listen well, Link, because I am about to teach you a very powerful bird riding technique. It's called the Spiral Charge. Mm hmm. Using the spiral charge, you can rid Levias of the blight that has hold of him. Okay. Uh, if this is the case, why haven't you done it already? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, I'm too old. <laughs> <laughs> the, the technique is quite easy to perform. All you have to do is press A. Oh, okay. However, the acceleration effect lasts longer than any attack move you've used so far. Maintaining stable flight can be tricky. No, I won't. <laughs> this is a technique that only senior Knight Academy students who have mastered high-level flight skills are allowed to perform. So you can't do it. I shouldn't have mentioned it. Goodbye. <laughs> it's still a bit too early for you, but this is an extraordinary circumstance, so I'll make an exception this time. However, I will test you. So, if two trains leave from station, uh, <laughs> uh, first, dive off this platform and call your bird. You can do this by simply extending your middle finger. Uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> okay, the music's cool. <laughs> Interesting. Listen up, Link. I taught your loft wing to perform a spiral charge when you press A. How is our loft wing okay. just staying in place like this? Uh, 
I don't know. But also, how did you teach my bird how to do something? Yeah. Press A to spiral charge and break the 10 targets placed around the floating boulders up ahead. If you can destroy 10 targets in under 120 seconds, I will recognize you as a skilled bird rider. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. We already know how to do the task. Do the spiral charge, so I guess we don't need to do this at all. Bye! <laughs> Alright, off you go! <laughs> Oops. Smack into a wall. Oh, come on. Do it. Four. Did I hit the rock accidentally too? <laughs> I don't think so, but no. Uh oh, missed that one. Hmm. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, we have 30 seconds. <laughs> oh, cut! Oh! <laughs> oh, no. oh, again. Uh, uh, <laughs> <eight>. <laughs> Ow. Nine! Oh, no! Ah! Oh, <laughs> so close! Ah, oh, darn. Uh, oh, darn. I was hoping you'd get it at the end. That would be like, so oh. funny. That would be so funny. <laughs> if you can't destroy 10 targets in under 120 seconds, I can't in good conscience give you permission to use this dangerous technique. I'll be here for a while, so why don't you take a break and cool off? Come talk to me when you want to try again. Like, again, you already have it, so... Yeah, I know. What, what does your permission matter to us, really? If the bird can already do it, then... <laughs> you can already do it, the bird can already do it. Let's go to the Thunderhead, right? Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. I know! Oh my gosh! At least okay, they give you the button to skip, skip it. it. Yeah. Yes, thank goodness. One, two. Three, oh. <laughs> okay. Four. Five. Six. Ow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then... Seven. Man, I killed the bird! <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny! Ow. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Nine! Yep, he just killed one of, like, Professor Owlin's birds. You know, he's probably not going to be too thrilled with that. <laughs> yeah, he can always get another one. 
Lost it. And ten! Yay! Oh, you managed to destroy ten targets within the time limit. If you can control your bird that well, you'll have no problems at all. I knew you could do it, Link. And what a magnificent red bird. Okay. Thanks. You are henceforth permitted to use the spiral charge attack as a qualified bird rider. The next thing we have to address is just how to go about... <laughs> Just how to go about finding the bias. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe the owner of the Lumpy Pumpkin might know something. Every year he makes an offering oh, that's of his right. pumpkin soup for the bias. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you go to the Lumpy Pumpkin and ask him what he knows. Alright, thanks. <laughs> Alright, but isn't it kind of dangerous to do that right now? I mean, like, you know, make an offering or whatever, you yeah, different. Well, I mean, you know, he does it. It's not saying he's doing it right now. Hmm. There it is. There we go. Oh. Hi. Um, um did I do I think a voice? You did her okay. Voice, but... Oh, thanks for helping me uh, carry the pumpkins the other day. Thanks to you, we, uh, we're ready to plant uh, the new seeds. The only thing is, plowing the patch um, so that it's ready to be planted is hard work. If only there was someone who was really good at plowing the field. Uh, I know someone. <laughs> really? If that's the case, I'd love to ask this person to help me out. If you find this person, please tell them to come find me right away, okay? I got a 90% chance that this request is uh, in, ways, um, in some way is connected to the gratitude crystals. That's the ability. Can we get regretted? Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Is searching? Yes, I know. I'm aware. Thank you. Um, uh, yes. We're not looking for anything else right now, so it's fine. I'll just say, man, I'll set your desk and to find an individual who can plow the pumpkin patch. How do you. Okay, just how? Just, just a pumpkin. Pumpkin. Is there really someone out there? Um, someone who would help me out? Well, I'll try to keep my hopes up, and you just, uh, and just wait here patiently until they show up. Because you know, I shouldn't actually like work on plowing the pumpkin patch field, you know, itself. Just you know, wait and hope. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Let's get that started, and then we'll go head inside, and yeah. That's an interesting uh, scenario there. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't really make much sense at all. <laughs> what? Like, just, oh, yeah, we can douse for someone who's good at, who's, like, you know, would help with good the pumpkin digging. patch. <laughs> and also the whole, like, oh, someone who's good at, like, uh, whatchamacallit. Like, uh, or no. Uh, it's connected to gratitude crystals. It's like, well, yeah, I guess she'd be, you know, grateful, but still. Yeah. Oh, it's a new chandelier! Yes, it is! What a prosperous year! And the new chandelier! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Stretch isn't ready to go board. yet. Oh, I'm sorry, fuck. <laughs> no, I was just continuing my stupid oh, okay. <laughs> Phantom of the Opera reference. Oh, gotcha, okay. Uh, hey, Lake, if you catch a bunch of bugs and you have more than you know what to do with, I'll be happy to take some off your hands. Well, rather than do it here, come by my room in the academy. Okay. okay. Alright, I guess we have to talk to him at night, then. It seems that way. Link, you're All already right, so out of breath just... just jogging like that? You must be really out of shape. 
Indeed. Hi. What's the matter? Uh, you look like you got something mighty serious on your mind. And actually. Hmm? Levias? What about him? Sure, I know Levias well, but I wasn't aware anything was wrong. Every year I offer him an entire basin full of my pumpkin soup. But lately a huge thunderhead has been brewing there, and I haven't been in it, haven't yet made this year's offering. I tell you, I feel horrible about it. It's all your fault, he's cursed. <laughs> <laughs> you say you'll deliver a pot of my soup to the virus? Sure. Huh? I don't know how you plan to fly into that huge thunderhead brewing out there, but... If that's the case, I'm going to go do everything I can to make Levias the best batch of soup ever. You wait right here. I'm getting inspired to fire up some soup like I've never souped before. Okay. So, how do you normally carry it over there, though? <laughs> Voila! Here, sh here it is. His loft wing. I know, but, like, we can't carry it with our loft wing. He, he, he has a bigger loft wing. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've been cooking this stuff for well over ten years, and I have to say this is the best batch of pumpkin soup I have ever created. So, so can we have some? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Master, I will uh, signal for the robot. Mrs. Fly, I'm here. Dessert. How'd you get in here? The door. Okay, how are you going to get out of here? The door. Not big enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, this is another heavy load. But don't worry, I can carry anything. I'll be waiting outside. Uh, I can take you wherever you need to go as soon as you're ready. Is that... Did we really need to linger on this shot of him flying away? <laughs> right. <laughs> And Link just, like, slowly turns in place. <laughs> yeah. The place where I offer soup uh, to the vice is inside, inside the Thunderhead Cloud on an island with an everlasting rainbow. Oh, you'll know it when you see it. Good luck. Thanks. Hmm. Appropriate month. <laughs> Alrighty then. Now, should we go into... Well, Oh wait, no, we can't do more than one at a time, never mind. The robot's already carrying something. Yeah. <laughs> You're right though, if the robot is needed to carry this thing, then um, how does the shop owner normally get this to right? the bias? <laughs> That's what I'm asking. Oh, can he use the speed boost for the <laughs> things we need? Yeah, alright. Yup, well, we lost the robot. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no more soup. <laughs> no, see, there he is. He's back. He caught up again. <laughs> I'm starting to get a little concerned there. What? You're concerned about a, a, the game? Yeah, because if it broke, we'd have to do it all over again. <laughs> oh no. What? That would absolutely stink, though, if the game was programmed in a way so that you had to stick with the robot at like, all times. Uh-huh. Kind of like that one escort mission that we had to do, huh? Mm -hmm. Or, like, you know, if the robot could get caught up in those, like, tornadoes. I just sprout mm -hmm. up and then, yeah. Soup just gets spilled and it's like, oh no, you'll have to head back to the Lumpy Pumpkin. Next time, be more careful. <laughs> At that point, I think I probably would hate the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm unloading the cargo of pumpkin soup here. Um, you picked an odd place for soup delivery. It feels dangerous. Something could jump out at us at any moment. Hungry for soup or robot. 
Well, at least he actually sat down gently this time instead of just dropping, dropping it. it. Yeah. To break it. <laughs> well, I guess uh -oh. we'll just have some soup while we're waiting and, uh. Uh oh. Again, why did we need to carry the soup over here for him to appear? <laughs> if he's being know. taken over by some sort of parasite, like. And I'm just gonna say, ew. Yeah, ew, right. Ew, ew, ew. I hated this thing. The battle? Like, just the the fact that these worms are coming out of them like everywhere. Mm-hmm. I was just like, <laughs> just like. Seriously, it's like, no, 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 Nintendo, no, you go to your room and think about what you did. <laughs> oh. We did not need this nightmare fuel. Ow. I mean, to be fair, parasites do exist in real life. <laughs> I know, but not like this. Well, it's an exagger exaggerated version of it, but yes. <laughs> I mean, worms are parasites, though. Or at least some of them. I know, but I'm just saying, like, this this right here, not okay. Not okay, Nintendo. Ow, come, no, no, turn the other way, bird. I will say, I thought it was pretty cool of a game to feature the bird flying mechanics with a boss battle. Yeah. I thought, I was like, okay, that's creative. Take <laughs> oh. it. Okay, that part of music that just played was com uh? completely an atonal version of the uh, Star Wars main title, like main theme. Was it? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Dang it! There we go. Here's a better question. How did this parasite take over this thing, anyway? I don't know. Okay, then I thought that this was actually kind of cool. La landing on the, um, on mm -hmm. the Leviathan to keep fighting. I was like, alright, that's, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I will say, though, I, um... I had a, the first time I played this, I had a weird gl uh, graphical glitch go on. Hmm. Um, I, I had a weird gra graphical glitch in that. Um, hmm. Is that? Oh wait, maybe I have to like. Th that's right. Dang it. Okay, so the graphical glitch was um, at at a certain point, um, like I went to like select items or or whatever, and um, mm -hmm. and uh, I had like a dual screen overlay, like I had a menu on top of um, of the actual game, so like I'm fighting but I'm not in the menu, and it and it's just like still there, and I'm like, what the heck is going on? Well, you know, one would think that we'd be using, like, the bow here, but... Yeah. No, oh, come on! Why can't I... Ow. Not very cool that, uh, it keeps, like, recovering the things there.
Yeah, you would think you would use like an arrow right here to like attack his eye or whatever. Mm -hmm. Con con considering everything else. Ow. Ow. Yeah. So those eyes, like, on its uh, tentacle things are still open, so there's really no reason for it to open this eye wider. Dang it. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> oh, dang it. I wanted to tell you your health was low. I know. <laughs> I know, I'm just saying I find it amusing. But like, oh, yeah, there's already on. sound telling us that their health is low. <laughs> I think one more should do it. Assuming that could ever work right. <laughs> nope, maybe not. One more? Okay. Dang it. Of course, now you decide you want to run away. How many more hits? Good lord. I don't know. There we go. I mean, it's an easy bit <laughs> of padding that the Nintendo can do. <laughs> can't have no help. First try. <laughs> Bonk. Oh, I hit my head on the island. Mm -hmm. Well, he killed the bias. Way to go, Link. Wasn't you who brought me this most delectable cauldron of pumpkin soup? Yep. I must apologize for my earlier behavior. A most peculiar and irksome pest possessed me. I was not myself. But that business is done with now. The delicious aroma of that soup has restored me to my senses. Oh, also you destroying it, but, you know, that's a, neither here nor there. Mm -hmm. I am the great spirit they call the Vias. Before she passed from this world so long ago, the goddess Tylia appointed me as Warden of the Skies. And what do they call you, boy? Ah, Link, is it? A rather pleasing name, that. Your parents clearly have excellent taste in names. Hmm. Thank you. you carry a curious sword, boy. And I sense a silent power dwelling somewhere in that little frame. Oh, I see it now. Link, you are the goddess's chosen hero. How oh, interesting. I assume you've come to hear what I know of the Triforce. No, not right. really. I just came to deliver some soup. You know, <laughs> I'm getting. I'm hoping you tip okay, you know, so because mm -hmm. uh, I got like some expensive things I gotta buy for Beetle. <laughs> yeah. As I suspected. Listen closely. Oh wow, where are we? I will tell you. Um, do you think that could wait until the next episode, uh, Levias? I mean, we're about half an hour into uh, this episode. Seriously, you didn't plan this, but I mean, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I'm about to tell you where the great and ancient power of hive the whole world is, and you just want to go and, you know, end off the episode, I see. Fine. Well, I mean, I mean, I, we, we could just go on a little here. bit. I, we could go on a little bit longer, but, uh, you know. No, no. I'll just, you know, let my soup get cold because you have an episode to earn it. <laughs> no, but seriously, I think that that will probably do it for this episode. I don't want to make it too long. <laughs> Indeed. So, thank you all so much for watching. Please let us know what you thought down in the comments below. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I stream on Twitch and on YouTube. As uh, And on uh, Friday, there's a new episode of Pokemon Xenoverse coming out. As well as I stream on, set on uh, at night at 9 p.m. Um, and, um, let's see, Saturday, <laughs> Eric and I will be back with you with another stream at 12 p.m. as well. Um, and I will see you guys on Monday for Kingdom Hearts 3 Roxas. And as always, we'll see you next Wednesday for another exciting adventure in Skyward Sword. Eric is looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. We'll see you guys then.